We so we say Shabbat Shalom again and give our praises to the Most High, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to Amashiach Yahushai, the world say they call Jesus. I still think it's two different things. So, um, what time are you living in now, eh? What time are we living in? Um, I know you is a old school. I know you see a lot through this generation, right? Never see this pandemic, right? Yeah, never see this. But um, but as I was um, discussing with most brothers, we have to watch for the destruction. You understand me? Because the whole destruction is yesterday the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo. <coughs> um, which is a sodomite anyway. He passed some bill where they said they're going to slash money from the police and they're going to, um, they stop the police from doing illegal chokehold. That's what they said, illegal. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> but, um, but when you examine the fact, if you're going to charge the police for chokehold, that means the mayor and the governor should be charged too, right? Because their laws, right? Oh, if, if they could have signed a bill to stop it, it should have stopped from in the sixties. But the mere fact that they don't stop it, no, they wash their hand from it. The liquor man down there feeling it, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to discuss some of that too. And um, but they said they put the next bill on mm -hmm. this table that they haven't signed yet. And the bill is, <coughs> we're going to be illegal to video the police. So New York discussing that man. So you, you don't, you're not supposed to get your own phone, so they say you own it. But you're not going to have the right to video who you feel like video with it. So even the so-called pandemic, they're trying to take away all that we have, brothers and sisters. You understand me? So as we said, we're in that time now where we just have to watch and we have to see and all the destruction that going on. Watching the news again, they show you that Jewish school was still open. Now. Jewish school never closed. They tell you, all the Jewish school is still open. People deliver everything while everybody else shut down. So again, we have to investigate to see what, how much Amalek No. You understand me? And we have to give it up for Amalek too, man. They don't give a damn what the rest of white people think or do. But we the one who's scared. We the one who care. But we have to be on their level of thinking too. Man. Because we're not part of the white man system. You see, just like you read the book of James, he said, you're in the world, but we should not be a part of the world. That's all we have to be. And I see, as I tell brothers, Fox News, they put it out there and say, um, they discuss reparation <coughs> for black people. That's why I mentioned, we have to be at some of these taller, tonal meetings. Mm -hmm. Because if you're discussing things from, about my slave, my ancestors, my poor parents, we have to, like, who really on Fox News was discussing how much to pay black people? Right. <laughs> you understand me? Because it's the same scenario again. You work at a the job, they decide how much to give you for your razor pay. We, I, we never have a discussion about it. But anyway, on the Fox News, they say, if you get um, felony, your whole child support, student loan, they might take the money, what you're supposed to get back out of that. So some of you might get $5 and not get none. But they say 42 million black Americans, I don't know what that is, do you know what that is? Why the other white people are American but we black Americans? Mm -hmm. You have white South African come here, they don't call African American. You understand me? So I don't know what black American is neither. But they say 42 million of the children of slave eligible to get 350,765 dollars. Put that phone and vibrate. Yes. So my brothers know. Let's let's just look at it. <clears throat> I, I take the ability to Google 250,000 by 400. That's 875,000. So from 1619 till now, the white man decided to give us $800 a year. If we take that gracefully, we dishonor our four parents. Yes. $800 a year, $875 a year. That's what he think we weren't. 
and you know Uncle Sam going to get his tax out of it. And then you worrying about why black people in the position we in. Look at it. We don't have the privilege like white America do, brothers. What did Trump say? Mm -hmm. Trump said, oh my God, I get a little loan of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. And I use it to do this. And after 400 years, we can't even get a million dollars? Even Trump said I get a small loan of a million dollars. And he turned over that million dollars that he get and built the Trump Tower and be his president through that. And for 400 years, black people don't deserve a million dollars, a small loan. And then they said the money, if you pay, it won't be a one time payment to your account. So I'm not American, so I'm not eligible. So for who will get it? They'll just put it in your account. You're going to be happy, man. You ain't going to come to the school. Eh? I know it. <laughs> You're going to go in Hampton to attempt to try to buy a house and a Benz, and then that's go the money. You understand? So we, we just in a time of our life now where it's critical. I know a lot of brothers said they're not going to pay, but they're going to. They have to. Just put that phone on vibrate for me, it's please. Right? right? So, yeah, so no, they might have to. Because if you read um, the scriptures, every captivity we go into, when we leave, we, we was repro They pay us. You understand me? America is going to be no different. Because America going to pay double. As the scripture said, all the spoils they have, we're going to take it. And the second payment is with their life. They're going to have to pay with that. Because when the Mosai went into Egypt and killed all the firstborn, that was then. But the Mosai said, when he finished with America, England, and Rome, we ain't going to talk about Egypt no more. Egypt work was light. Right, so we're going to read. The, we're going to go to the book of Ezra and read the first chapter. Brother, just turn the phone off. Just turn the phone off for me, brother, please. Got vibrant. We all like keep doing that. Keep singing. Thank you. Um, Ezra one, first chapter, mm -hmm. verse one. You don't have a Bible? I have a Bible. I don't have a pop. It's not the apocrypha. It's the Bible. What type of Bible is it? King James. Ezra is in there, brother. Oh, that piece is Ezra is in there. Just give him a minute to find it. Um, my brother, help him find that for me. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Alright, read on it. The book of Ezra, chapter 1 and verse 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of Yahweh by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, Yahweh stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it also in writing. So you see, so a proclamation and um, he put it in writing. So he never only said, but he, he documented. <coughs> So that's why I said, even until this day, we still own land in Persia, man. Even when Esther was queen, remember, they gave us those 120 cities, man. It's still ours. Right? But he said that the word of Jeremiah may be fulfilled. What word did Jeremiah say? Get that, Yeshua, Jeremiah 25. Jeremiah 25, verse 1. Jeremiah 25, Jeremiah chapter 25 and verse 12. Brothers, in the back, come up closer to me. Um, Ephraim, Zachariah, come up closer. Jeremiah 25 and verse 12. Read on. And it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished. So how many years will they be spent in Babylon and the Nebuchadnezzar? 70. So when it accomplished, when it finished, read. That I will punish the king of Babylon. So the most I say, he's going to punish the king of Babylon. 
But who did the most I used to punish Nebuchadnezzar? Persians. Persians, Cyrus. Right? Read on. And that nation saith Yahweh for their iniquity in the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetual desolation. So that's what the most I did when um, the Persian went up in there. You have more to it? 13. No, read, go back to Ezra and read verse 1 again. The book of Ezra, chapter 1 and verse 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of Yahweh by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. So you see that? This was his first year, brother. When he go in there the first year, he made move for what? The children of the Heavenly Father. And keep that in mind. You understand me? But Persia today, we're talking about Iran and that region. No? So he said this Persian king went up when he gave control of his land, man. What did he do? Read on. That the word of Yahweh by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. Yahweh stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom. All his kingdom. Read. And put it also in writing. So it's, Say it. It's in papers. So if you go to Persia today, they have it in papers. Alright, read on. Thus saith Cyrus, king of Persia, Yahweh, power of heaven, hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth. So he know, he admits who gave him the kingdom of the earth. See what he said? The Mosai, he said the Mosai. Now remember, when he go in there and meet Daniel too, man. What king? You take over a kingdom. And you still save Daniel with you, man. Remember, when he go and take over Nebuchadnezzar and give Daniel the same position Daniel did have in, in Babylon. No? So he admit that the Mosai was the one who gave him the entire earth to rule. But the white man admit that Satan gave him this place to rule, right? Read. Really? Yahweh of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him a house at now, Jerusalem. The Mosai charged him to do what? Build him a house at Jerusalem. At where? Jerusalem. So he, he said Jerusalem, right? So you say Israel. But read on and see if you can be more specific. Which is in Judah. Which is where? In, in Judah. Judah. So this Eden know that you cannot go back to Jerusalem and just build a Mosai house anywhere. Like what those white Jews do in the land today. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Right. But what he said, read verse 2 again. Huh? <clears throat> Thus saith Cyrus, king of Persia, Yahweh, power of heaven, hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. So you see that? So no, even Cyrus know where the most high house should be built. So why didn't Cyrus just say, Yeshaya, Israel, you're free. I'll build your house here. You just worship God here. I'm not going to put no yoke up in your neck and just let you be. Why he never said that? So if, if Black Lives Matter marching, and if they want to pay us reparation, the entire land of Israel have to be in that deal. Because when Cyrus free us from Nebuchadnezzar, Cyrus said, listen man, I'm going to build back the house that Nebuchadnezzar tear them, man. So if America is anything good, what America should do is build back what their four parents tear them, which is wrong. Build back our house. It's not like Cyrus come and say, Cyrus free us now. So Cyrus said, okay, just stay here and chill. No, it was never no chilling nowhere else. Because the most I need is us. The most I need is us, brothers. And that's why Cyrus said, the most I charge me, command me. What do you think the first year? What did Trump do in his first two years of election? Tell me. What did Obama do in his first year of election? Legalize homosexuality. What else? But this is Cyrus. He took over the entire earth. And he, in his first year, he make a proclamation that, listen, the Mosai house have to be built in Jerusalem and make sure it's built in the land of Judah. I'm starting to read the Psalms. It said, in Judah is what? Yahweh no man. Think that's what? Psalm 78? Right here. Go there. Psalm 78, verse 1. Think so.
Read 76.1. 76, 76, yeah. Psalms chapter 76 and verse 1. In Jehuda, in Judah, in Judah is Yahweh known. His name is great in Israel. So read that again. In Judah, Yahweh is known. So in Judah, in the land of Judah, is the most I know, brother. Read. His name is great in Israel. So where is Mosai's name is great? In, in Judah. Israel. You understand me? So everything go together. Right? You have more to it? Read on. <clears throat> in Salem also is his tabernacle. Where is Salem? You never see Salem in the Bible. What that's talking about? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Salem, yes. Salem in peace. The city of peace. Salem in peace. Read that again. In Salem also is his tabernacle. Is what? Is his tabernacle. That's the tabernacle of David. Read. And his dwelling place is in what? Zion. His dwelling place in Zion. Brother, the most I live in the heaven. Dwelling place in Zion. So you say even the most I dwell in the land of Judah. But you have Judah and America fighting. This is my hood, brother. <laughs> Judah and Chicago fighting. This is my turf. In New York, this is my hood. Because you see what happened is, you want to go far from your God. Man. That's what black people want to do. We want to do everything what the nation do. Nation need a king, we need a king. The nation in the projects, you want to be in the projects. You don't want nothing more. But the most I tell you, he dwell in Zion. Man. The same land that the black American dwell in, that's the, black, the same land the most I dwell in. But you all don't want the privilege to be at one with the most high. You want the privilege to be exactly how you want here. And that's why the most high said, return to me and what? I'll return to you. Read on. Verse 3. They're breaking the afternoon. No. Go back to Ezra. You have something? Uh, I want to go to 3. Yeah, go to verse 3. Ezra. Ezra chapter 1 and verse 3. Who is there among you of all his people? His power be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem. So this is what an Eden king asking the question. The Eden king asking the question, who among you want to go back to Jerusalem? Just to show you the people of Babylon. Man. They never want to leave the land of the Chaldeans. So now, Cyrus said, who is there among you of all his people that want to go back to Zion? Who? Guess what, brothers? It was a remnant that left me. That's why we're reading about them now. Because most of you wanted to stay back in Babylon. Just like your lot wife wanted to stay in Sodom, nothing changed. Some of you went back to Egypt, nothing changed. Some of us stay back into every captivity that we're going to. But read three from the top again, brother. Who's there among you of all his people? His power be with him. And let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of Yahweh, the power of Israel. He is the power, which is in Jerusalem. So just look at that. This is what a Persian king is saying. Man. He have to beg us to leave Babylon to go back mm -hmm. to build God's house. Man. You see that? And even he said, listen man, the power come from Zion, man. So he know if he never did that, what would happen to him? So no, for him to do that, man, the Most High says, Cyrus is my anointed, man. Why would the Most High call him anointed? Because he was a Mashiach to the nation of Israel, man. Because he have to kick you out of his country for you to just go back to build the house of God. See that? Read on. Verse 4. How we can just open a Roman Catholic church, right? <laughs> Jesus in there and um, John 3.16 we can just do that too right we don't have to build no house for the Lord because the most I the most, the most I went come in this Catholic church and the Pope is the God sent Father and you can go to a Pentecostal we just sing and dance all day to right. Satan we can do that right we don't have to build no house for the most I you all was brainwashed, brothers and sisters. That's why I said, knowing Israel now and doing what we're doing now, don't profit you nothing. 
because we're not making moves like what our foreparents used to do. We're not on the level of our foreparents. Never. Because y'all think this is just it. And every day you watch, mashallah coming. I never see a nation of people calling for mashallah and not doing nothing about it. Just waiting and sitting till the tanker start driving down Brooklyn, Fulton Street. I never see a nation of people like that. When you read about your father, man, even when there was famine in Israel, Abraham leave Israel, man, go to Egypt, man. When you read the book of Josephus, he said Abraham went there and teach Egyptian mathematics and all that, man. When it was famine in the land of Israel, what did Jacob did with his son? You hear that grain, grains was in Egypt, man. But look at us now. There's no grains over here, right? Show me one fruit tree in America, as far as I can go. I see them show you the whole Grand Canyon, the Yellowstone Stone and all that. I'm looking for an apple tree, a mango tree, some banana tree. I'm looking for some sugar cane. I ain't seen none yet. So you find out here in our barren land now, there's nothing growing here, no wheat. What about Zion? What about your land? No size of what? It's plenty of there for you, man. But, but as I said, brothers and sisters, we have to think positive. That's why scripture says you have to renew your mind. We have to get this what America has to offer us out of our mind. The most I say, all this is vanity, brothers. Because the most I have a plan for us, he tell us that. The most I say, I have a plan for you which is good and not evil. Right? Read on, my brother. Verse 4. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his place help him with silver and with gold. And with good. So you see that? So the king was telling a proclamation. No, he said, when these people going up, man, the neighbors give them what they want to go up, man. He never tell us $250,000. You understand? Yeah, listen, man, you know what we need to do? Tell that white man to go shove that $250,000. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because if you want to only pay us 800 years, $800 a year, for each year we're over a year, that's a blasphemous thing to our entire nation, man. And that means we don't work nothing. And majority of us going to take it, right? We're going to take it. So the same thing that his constitution said, a horse can think better than us. He prove us. Because if you bring the horse to the water and the horse decide not to drink, will the horse drink? No matter what you do, he's not drinking. That's why they said a horse can think better than us. Right, read on. <clears throat> Let the men of his place help him with silver and with gold and with goods and with beasts, besides the free will offering for the house of Yahweh that is in Jerusalem. So you see that? So when we going up to Jerusalem, we was going with gold, silver, goods, cattle, and the, mo the king said, listen man, gave them some free will offering to man. This king pay us well. This reparation was well, it was good. Where the hell in the earth you can go with American money? Man? Where all the gold that they robbed? Gave us some of that. Right? Read on. Verse 5. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin and the priests. So you see this. So this was like brothers and sisters will come to me and say, um, but Talk to her. The Native Americans, they get repatriation, and the blacks ain't get none. So look at this now. They're not Israel. But who get who, who get reparation from out of hmm. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah. Real? And Benjamin. And who? And Benjamin. Real? And the priests. Real? And the Levites. Real? With all them whose spirit with Yahweh, have, with all them, Real? whose spirit Yahweh had raised, to go up to build the house of Yahweh. Which so one to the ten tribes. Mm -hmm. They why they never get reparation? Why is only Judah, Benjamin, and Levi get it in? Because remember, the ten tribe was in where the Assyrian kingdom in Iraq. 
They left before we go there. So how are you going to use this to judge that they're not Israel, man? Reparation pain different way. Who the most I feel to give it to, bro? 80 is free over 200 years, man. Why the most I free 80 so long before the rest of the tribe? So that means 80 is not Israelite, then, huh? Because <laughs> what? Judah is still in America under the white man, huh? Jamaica is free. Everywhere in the Caribbean is free. But Judah ain't free. You understand me? The most I do things how you want it, man. Because Judah did have a price to pay, bro. You, the most I give you is something to command. Why do you think Yahweh I give you parables? And Yahweh Shai said, the good man of the house, come and give you ten talents. You double on your ten talents. The most I said, the good man of the house, come and give you five talents. You double on the five talents. The good man of the house, come and give you one talent. What did you do with that talent? Eh? He did what? He hid it. He hid it, man. He buried it. What did Yahweh Shai say to him when he come back? Wicked servant. He's a, he was a what? Wicked servant. So we all, everybody have their own demons to face in this thing. Right? And the priest and the king have it to do. Because you see how much I deal with them yet. Trust me, I'm telling you that. So everything is different level and different stages. Because the most I give Judah is talent, man. What did Judah do with that talent? Oh, you lose a whole kingdom and your land and a nation. How did you do that? So that's why when I read Psalms 40 and Genesis 49, he said, And to what? Judah shall be gathering up the people. Be. It's your duty to go back out there and gather them. Right? Read on, Isha. With all them whose spirit Yahweh had raised. So you see that? So the most I raise up certain men's spirit. So everybody not going to see the same thing. The most I know who you want back in his life. Read that from the top again. Verse 5. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests, and the Levites, with all them whose spirit Yahweh had raised. To go up to build the house of Yahweh, which is in Jerusalem. So he said the Mosai put the spirit in certain men to go back up to Jerusalem to build the house of the Mosai. Not everybody. Not everybody going to get this call. And even until this day, it's a selective few the Mosai going to use to do whatever he want. We don't have to do nothing. But when the Mosai put the spirit in the individual to do what he want, then... They will get the job done. Because the most I don't want no slatful man to do nothing for The most I say, stay home, man. Right? All what you have, get Psalm 24. Yeah, Psalm 24. Psalms chapter 24 and verse 1. Read. The earth is your house, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Read. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of your house? So listen to this. He said, who shall ascend into the hills of the Mosai? Can everybody go into the hills of the Mosai? Read. Or who shall stand in his holy place? So who can go and stand in the holiest of the holies? Can everybody do that? Read. He that hath clean hand. He that have what? Clean hand. Read. And a pure heart. And a what? And a pure heart. So you see who the most I said can stand in his presence? Clean hand, pure heart. Read. Who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity. Because the most I know, 90% of Israel is what? Vanity. So the one whose soul and mind about vanity, you can't go to the, you can't, that's why the most I say I reveal my secret to my servants, man. The most I'm not going to reveal, even the most I wouldn't give Ezra's the writings, he said, give them some man, 
burning the rest. Don't even tell him. Read. Nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from Yahweh and the righteousness of the power of his salvation. Read on. This is the generation of them that seek him. So stop. So most I tell you, a generation gonna come that do what? That seek him. So remember, our father never did that. Our grandfather never did that. Our great grandfather never did that. So the most I say, no, a generation they're gonna come. And they're going to do what? Seek him. Seek something. We have to look for it, right? Read on. That seek thy face, O Jacob. Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. Read. And the king of glory shall come in. So you see that? So when the servants do what they're supposed to do, he said, no, look up. Because the king of glory is going to come in. Who is that king of glory? Read on. Verse 8. Who is this king of glory? Read. Yahweh strong and mighty. Read. Yahweh mighty in battle. Read. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Read. Who is this king of glory? Read on. Yahweh of hosts. He is the king of glory. Selah. Hallelujah. So you see that? So the most I don't need, although all Israel, that's why I say, why kill two thirds of you, man? You can't come near it. So just like what they said in Babylon here, go back and read um, verse 6. Ezra 1 verse 6. Ezra chapter 1 and verse 6. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with the vessels of silver, really? with gold, with goods, and with beasts, and with precious things. Besides all that was willingly offered. So you see that? So people was offering stuff willingly for the temple sake. Right? Read. Really? Also, Cyrus the king brought forth the vessels of the house of Yahweh, which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem, and had put them in the house of his God. So Nebuchadnezzar take out our churches, put in their churches. So now Cyrus free us, he gave it back to us. That's why you see, that's why when you read Psalms 83 and they tell you about enemy after the most high, Elam is not there. You have to know where that comes from. Because Cyrus was a Elamite. So you have to know to pick your enemy. If you're building alliance, you have to know to build that alliance with. Do you think today Iran say anybody fighting against the Jewish state, I'll support you? But why most of us don't go to Iran? Because the white man tells us Iran is a bad place. But if Iran is a bad place, why are you over there? I remember my first trip to Israel, people was amazed. You go to Israel. Israel is a scary place. It's a war place. I'm more safer in Israel than in America. Man. You understand me? So the white man tell you that Persia is bad. You know they still keep memorial for Esther until this day over there? Do you know they never bury Esther? They have her in a, like a monument. They bomb her over in a monument. You can go over there and see the coffin and everything. You would know because you don't want to know your history. Your history is about America and Rome. You don't stretch beyond that. They still have Queen Esther over there in a monument, taking care of her body, showing her it's a tourist attraction. So, why do you think the white man cut us off from there? Just like Jerusalem, Abraham grave is still over there. Who do you think guarding Abraham grave? If you go there and spit, they might chop your damn head off. Ishmael. That's his father, right? Yeah. Was the Isaac Isaac funeral? Mourning, crying? Come on. Things what we're not doing, the most our people do it. Car Esther was a martyr. Esther saved the entire nation. You don't care about her. You don't even care where she bury or where she rest. So you think the most I want you to do it? Our father Abraham is the same thing. Abraham temple is still up there in Hebron, where East have no control over. Hebron, Abdemar, if you enter, enter your own free will, man. Because the most I prevent Abraham grave. Although Abraham is risen, it's still a holy site. So the most I use Ishmael to guard it. Watch over it. You know that. 
Because guess what? You're waiting for the white man to come to America and tell her everything. He said, find no ark. What proof you have? Have you ever been there? They can't get a ticket to go to Turkey for $600. Have you ever go there to see Noah? No. Because you just watch TV and expect the liar to tell you everything. Okay. And this is it. We usually like, tell one brother. Read on. Verse 8. Even those that Cyrus, king of Persia, bring forth by the hand of Mithridat, the treasurer, and numbered them unto Sheshbazar, the prince of Judah. Read. And this is the number of them. Thirty charges of gold, a thousand charges of silver, nine and twenty nines, thirty basins of gold, silver basins of a second sort, four hundred and ten, and other vessels a thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were five thousand four and four hundred. All these did Sheshbazar bring up with them of the captivity that were brought up from Babylon unto Jerusalem. So you see, when they go back to Jerusalem, how wealthy there was? You see that? This is what the king did. For who want to go back? Not everybody wanted to go back. Read verse 2. Chapter 2. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Now these are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity of those which had been carried away and whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away unto Babylon and came again unto Jerusalem and Judah every one unto his city, which came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Relia, Mordecai. So you see Mordecai right here too, right? It's the uncle, right? Yeah. Wow. Rin? Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvi, Rehum, Bana, the number of the men of the people of Israel, the children of Parot, 2,000 and... 2,172. So you see, it's listing about the people that went back. So even until this present day, brothers that going back, somebody taking records? So when I read the old chapter 2, they're listing about the people that went back. Why I never just said, everybody go back? Because no, some of you want to stay there. You want to, you have a 9 to 5. Brother, I have a good job, brother. That That's car right. is a good car. <laughs> I have a Cadillac, I have a house in Hampton. I'm the white man's favorite nigga up there, brother. <laughs> they pay cake, they come over, we go for coffee break. I guess what? I go sh fishing with the white man. See that? He give you a list who went back. One page. Why you never said the entire nation went back? So even until this present time, there's only certain people who are eligible for a certain jobs. Right? Um, jump to verse 68, Ishai. Verse 68. And some of the chiefs of the fathers, when they came to the house of Yahweh, which is at Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of Yahweh to set it up in his place. So when they came there and they see the house, man, what, what Nebuchadnezzar appeared on and left, he said they offered freely, man. Right, Rian? They gave after their ability unto treasure of the work of three score and one thousand drams of gold and five thousand pounds of silver and one hundred priest garments. So when they go there, what they do, the money and the gold what they have, they dedicate it back to what? The temple of the Moose Island. Because some of you, you think your wealth is for you. Nothing for us. Because our entire life is what? To praise the Moose Island. So when they went back up there, man, they said, okay, who is the architect? Who going to do the temple? And they gave majority of their stuff, man. They take the gold and they say, here, do the work of the most, man. Right? Read on. So the priests and the Levites and some of the people and the singers and the porters and the Nethanims dwelt in their cities and all Israel in their cities. Read. And when the seventh month was come and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. So you see that? So when they went, whatever city they were in, in the seven months, what feast did they come in the seven months? Um, tabernacles. Tabernacle. So he said, but in the, they are all in the city. Everybody come to one. And head where? Jerusalem. So why we stop doing that? Not we, you. Why you stop doing that? Show me one precept in the Bible where he said, we must not do this. Because there was no temple yet. 
I, I dare one of you, show me one precept that it said we mustn't do this. Read verse 1 again. Eh? Verse 1. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man. As what? As one man. So all different cities come and gather as one to do what? To Jerusalem. To what? To Jerusalem. Because that's where the feast and must come. But convenient. We can't even get some of you out your house for Tabernacle. Just look at that. Don't you think most people don't read this book in the Bible? They will take you right to John 3.16. Yeah, <laughs> right? Read on. Then, then stood up Jeshua, son of Josadak, and his brethren the priests, and Zerubbabel, and the son of Shield, Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel Shealtiel, and the brethren, and builded an altar of Yahweh of Israel to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of your house. So they see that. So when they go up there the seven months, they say, listen, man, for, to do sacrifice, man, we have to build a halter for the most high man. But they see important thing what it do? It give you names who do it. Read that again, Ishai. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Then stood up Jeshua, son of Josedek, and his brethren, the priests. Who said Zerubbabel? Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel. And Shatil and his brethren, and built the altar of Yahweh of Israel to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses. So you see that? It tell you who do work. So that's why no work that we do, brother, going to be in vain. Just imagine back in the kingdom of go through you see your name there. You're going to put your shoulder up a little, right? And say, yeah, that was me. But you all build America, though. You all laughing. We build America, right? Every country we go, we build. Have you ever been recognized? But they tell you who built about the first altar for the most high man. In the seventh month, man. In Tabernacle. Right? Read on. And he set up the altar upon his bases. For fear was upon them because of the people of those countries. So they were afraid because the people that was in the land coming around looking at them, man. But did it stop? Read on. And they offered burnt offerings thereon unto Yahweh, even burnt offerings morning and evening. So they offer twice a day, man. What if we did still have to be offering burnt offerings? How would you manage? Because you know you have to buy a lamb, right? We tell you, pay this amount for the Passover. Some of you struggle to pay it. But what if you have to buy your own lamb to sacrifice for yourself? And I'll, and I'll tell you too. The only sacrificial law that's hand is for sin. Because when you read in the book of Acts, Paul was still offering up offerings. Man. They can't offer up a peace offering. Two pigeons. Those things never stop, brother. We stop it. So that's why I'm telling you, if you're thinking about what all four parents do, we have a far way to, it's not even far. But as I said, the most I going to select men and people who is ready to do this. Because we're going to offer up offerings before Yahweh shall come back. Can you read it? It said the Antichrist going to stop what? What did it say the Antichrist going to stop? Offering. It's going to stop the burnt offerings. It said the Antichrist is going to stop the daily sacrifice. So we're going to do this again. And then they might come and say, no, it's too much. These niggas talking to God again. We have it in the Constitution that they know nobody. We have it in the Constitution that the hearts can think better than them. But now they're sacrificing to the Mosai again. The Mosai is going to answer them. So the Antichrist might come and stop it again. Nothing changed. We change it. But not because we change it, that don't mean the most I'm not going to implicate it back when he wanted. Read on, my brother. Verse 4. They kept also the Feast of Tabernacles, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the custom, as the duty of every day required. So they are not for a long seven days. To the custom. 
And to go back to Zion, you're going to have to do this again. Because if you are, what shall I tell you? If Egypt don't come up for what feast? What feast? What feast? Feast of Tabernacle. He said, if Egypt don't come up for it, what will happen to Egypt? No rain. No blessing for them. So we're going to do Tabernacle when Yahweh shall come back too. When now we do it in the land, the nations have to do it too. They have to send their delegates up to Zion to do it. And then their people in the land have to do it. But the most I said, the Egyptians are going to be some proud African. They might say, we ain't going up to do Jerusalem. <laughs> The most I said, no blessing for you, man. You go and call two men and say, just go down to Egypt, kill at least 20,000 and come back. Kill women and children. The man will cry more when they see their wife and children die. Because the scripture says, Yahweh shall I go and rule this world with what? A rod of iron. When a nation don't do what Yahweh want him to do, brother, Yahweh shall I play no games. So you see, where is the lamb for your tabernacle? Where is it? How much are you ever dwelling in tent for seven days? A tabernacle. How long we the truth? And it's not even seven days you must dwell in tent, it's eight days. Like I said that the eight days must bring up half a shekel. And a bottle of wine. So we cannot just do what we feel to do. As a nation of people, remember, they just go in the land, brothers. They ain't start doing nothing in the land yet. But they go back in the land and they said, we read the book of Moses and we do what Moses wants us to do. Man. We're not Christians. We're Israelites. If we think about our four parents, we must go back in their footsteps. Because the most I dealt with them. He mentioned about Nehemiah, right? Everybody should know the history of Zerubbabel. He was a police in Persia, officer. And he was one of them who said, listen man, we have to go back and build God house, man. Build up our own land, man. And they do it. That's why those brothers in Demona, I commend them. They went there from the 60s. They go through hell. They were being deported. And the most I beat with them, without we believe what they believe in, to be in that land for 53 years and establish the Mosai Yahweh Ba'ashom Yahweh Shai was with them. They don't have to believe it. I don't care. But the Mosai saying, guide us like that, right? Read on. Verse 5. And afterward offered the continual burnt offering, both of the new moons and of all the set feasts of Yahweh that were consecrated, and of everyone that willingly offered a free will offering unto Yahweh. So you see that a free will offering to the Most High is just like an offering a gift to the Most High. Say, Most High, I know I messed up. Here's two pigeons. Here's two turtle doves. But they do it on the new moon and all that. They're just establishing that. Think when we go in the land, we're going to break the laws, man. That's why the Most High said, man, he'll put it in people's heart, man. Because those one in Babylon, they think they were doing this? No! They're in their bed. They're living it up in Babylon, man. And I thank the Mosai. I did the tabernacle. Seven nights in ten. Twice. Mosai well this year. I'll be doing it again. In the land of Judah. Where God said we must do it. Read on. Verse 6. From the first day of the seventh month began they to offer burnt offerings unto Yahweh. But the foundation of the temple of Yahweh was not yet laid. So you see that? There was dirt there. Just like what Britain said, oh, Israel is desolate. They ain't going there. Mm -hmm. When they go, that's what it was. It was desolate. But they were offering sacrifice. Offerings, not sacrifice. Offerings. An offering is just a goodwill offering, free will they give to the Most High. They were offering, but there was no foundation for the temple. But read on. Verse 7. They gave money also unto the masons and the carpenters, and meat and drink and oil unto them of Zidon and to them of Tyre, and to bring cedar trees from Lebanon, 
of the Sea of Joppa, according to the grant that they had of Cyrus, king of Persia. So you see what they do? They went to the Africa, the um, Ishmaelites that was around them, and they said, listen, we know um, Lebanon now see this tree. So they buy the trees. And they told you where they come through the tree. Joppa is still a vid. So they make all, so you see, if Joppa is still a vid, where could the temple be in Jerusalem? You understand me? Where are you leaving Lebanon with trees? So now they come back and they bring all those things to Zion. They spend their money. How much I ever contribute about brothers who are going back to Zion? How much brothers or sisters contribute to the work of the Most High? Because most of you only see the real Zion because we start going there. And I'm talking here, I'm talking on YouTube, wherever they are. I, I, and I know when we go there, what you see, you know it's the truth. We don't edit nothing, we're not sugarcoating nothing. But now they contribute. Everybody gave up what they pocket, man. Right? Read on. Verse 8. Now in the second year of their coming unto the house of Yahweh at Jerusalem, in the second month, began Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, son of Josadak, and the remnant of their brethren, the priests and Levites, and they all and all they that were come out of the captivity unto Jerusalem, and appointed the Levites from twenty years old and upward to set forward the work of the house of your house. So this is year two now. Two years, and they're still in the land, the land barren, desolate, but they was doing the feast days, sacrifice, offerings. So after two years now, he said, What happened after two years? They select men. And they said, 20 and up, start to work. It's not like you see 20 year old now in America wearing their pants under their butt and all that. No, I'm nothing to do. Because that's, that's what's wrong with young people in America. They have nothing to do. Come. So we should have our own community where we deliver work for them to do. So now 20 and up, they, we have work to do, man. You understand? We have work to do. Even our community in America. It shouldn't be filthy or filthy. Give the young man work to do, but that starts from the household. They don't do nothing in the house. They think I grew up with my father and my grandparents. They think I could leave the house and my bed ain't spread. My bed have to spread it every day, man. I'm sweet washing dishes. Brother, we, we never have the ability to have dishes in the sink overnight. <laughs> We, because in growing up in Jamaica in the house, we never have mice or rat or nothing like that in the house. You understand me? Because we have cats in the yard too, so all those things would go away. You understand me? But nobody could go to sleep in my grandparents' house and dirty things is there after dinner. Because nobody is sleeping. And when my grandmother wake up in the morning, guess what? Everybody wake up. When my father and grandparents wake up in the morning, you can still be in the bed sleeping, man. Because back then we never have like door, you can't go in and lock your own door. We might have a doorway and a curtain is there. You understand me? So from the sunrise, they pull the curtain and say, big man, time to get up. You know what time it is. You think my grandfather going to be going to bush with the goats and I'm in bed sleeping? No. I'm going to be there. We going to bush together. Because that's what we call it. When we bring the goats out to eat grass, we call it bush. You understand me? My, my sister, they get up, they sweep the yard, they shine the floor. I remember they used to put polish on the floor and go there and shine it. That was woman's job. The bathroom need cleaning. That woman's job. You understand me? The yard need to rake. They um, take care of the animals. That was men's job. You understand me? So the privilege that we have now, it was something totally different, man. Right? Read on. 9. Then stood Jeshua with his sons and his brethren, Cadmiel and his sons, the sons of Judah, together to set forward the workmen in the house of Yahweh, the sons of Henadad, with their sons and their brethren, the Levites. And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of Yahweh, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets. And the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with symbols to praise Yahweh, 
after the ordinance of David, king of Israel. So they do. You see that? So it's all about Judah and Levi. But they go back to the ordinance. Just like what we today, we going back to what? The ordinance. We cannot create nothing new. Because everything that David did, the most high bless him, it worked for him. But Moses did, the most high bless him, it worked for him. So why we don't go back in that same path? Khan? Khan. Uh, read on. 11. And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto Yahweh, because he is good, for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised Yahweh, because the foundation of the house of Yahweh was laid. So they were rejoicing only to see the foundation. And now this time the Moose are just watching them see what they're doing. See who is persistent. But remember, as I said earlier, all this happened through who? Cyrus. A Persian king. Moses said he's anointed. He was a Mashiach. Not the Mashiach, but he was a savior for Israel. Because what he do here, that might be the reason they hate Persia until this day. Because when you read on you, you'll see where um, when he died, the other king came in and the people them take report and go to that king man and say, listen, if you allow them to finish this temple, man, we all going to be in captivity. Man. Because they ain't going to praise nobody more than that one God. That's why you tell people, listen, we have one God. One God. There's a God here for the sun, a God here for the moon, a God for the shoes. So when we was building up the temple, man, they came to us, man, and they came and they tried to stop the progress, man. Because they tell the king, I think it was Xerxes. They tell Xerxes, they say, Xerxes, if these people finish that temple, they ain't going to praise you. Know? They ain't going to have eyes to see you. They going to be up there in that one temple praising that one God, man. And the work did stop a little. Then Xerxes go, Cyrus too come in, we finish the temple, man. Right? Read on. 12. But many of the priests and Levites and chiefs of the fathers who were ancient men that had seen the first house when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes. So you see where the elders came in? Because the elders see the first house. Because remember, we only spent 70 years in Babylon. Okay. So now, the elders can tell them where stuff was in there. They were children then. But they have understanding. So in everything you need what? Elders. So now the elders can tell them, listen, it wasn't like that, brother. The foundation was like this. Because we go there and we see what? The same foundation. Oh, yeah. Nothing same. changed. We see the shoe bread. Everything is still there. That they built here. And remember, what we see was the tabernacle. The temple was what Yahweh said was going to be totally destroyed, which the temple was on Mount Maria. That destroyed. But when we go there, we see the tabernacle still in the city of David. With everything all outlaid already. So now it said the Antichrist is going to come and destroy that again. So you go there now, you have what? An idea how it was. See how simple that is? So that's what was going on here. Right? Read on. When the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes, wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy. So when they see, they were rejoicing, man. Read so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout, and the noise was heard afar off. So the people, them, they don't know if it was mourning or it was happy, man. But it's just to see the foundation alone, that's, all our, that's what the temple means to us. Because you have to understand what the temple is in our brothers and sisters. Remember, in the holiest of holiest, there's a sum out there where they said that was the most Simon. So the Most High was always among us. That's why you read that scripture in um, Psalm 6, 76. Go back there. You understand me? Because when we have the temple, the Most High in that temple, that's his house. So there was a smoke. Just like now they say when the Pope died. They push up black smoke. When the Pope alive, it's white smoke. So our temple in, um, in Israel, man, when we have the temple, man, the smoke go up. The fire burning continually, man, because the most high is with us, man. Uh. That's why scripture says when Yahweh died, it was a what? Earthquake, man. 
When, Yahweh Shai, when we murdered Yahweh Shai, everything go through the window, man. So the Romans have all right to tear it up. They could tear it or no. Now remember, when Yahweh Shai died, what in Jerusalem, even most of the Romans them say, yo, this was the son of man. Because that smoke disappeared, go back, man, when Yahweh Shai died, man. Because that means the most high, what do you think Yahweh Shai said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they have done. We think it was like some pity, have mercy. No. It was when our children was over here being fed to alligators. Man. So when Yahweh Shai died, all that smoke and everything left. So now the Romans could come in and destroy. But as long as that smoke was going up, the Romans couldn't go in that temple. Right? right? Read Psalm 76 1 again. Psalm chapter 76 and verse 1. In Judah, Yahweh is known. So that's why you see the black man in America, the white man can't have his foot on your neck. Because you have something that he don't have. Understand this murder. It's not killing. White people ain't killing nobody in America. White people been murdering black people in America, man. Because, read that from the top again. In Judah is Yahweh known. So that's why I hate you, man. Because Judah took something that was supposed to be his. In Basra is Satan known. <laughs> that's the other script. And he's stuck in Basra looking like, you understand me? So just imagine they're up there in Basra, hearing we shouting. And they were like, those damn Negroes built the temple again. That's what they were up there saying. So now we come, he putting his foot on your neck, man. They know, brothers. Guess what? You the only one don't know. Or if you know, you might don't care. Because your, your mind is so much in the world. So that's why scripture say you have to do what? Renew your mind. You have to be a new creature. You have to burn again. Read on Israel. In Judah, Yahweh is known. His name is great in Israel. The Most High name is great in Israel. You have Israel big land. But the Most High said Judah is the land that matters. That's the land that matters to me. That's the land that I carry for. But just imagine Judah too. He kind of deserved the white man's foot on his neck. Because the Most High gave you his treasure city. Right? And what did you do with the Most High treasured city? Read on. In Salem also is his tabernacle. Jerusalem, read. And his dwelling place in Zion. The Most High dwelling place is where? In Zion. Where is the Most High dwelling place? In Zion. Zion. Get Psalms 87 verse 1. Psalm chapter 87 and verse 1. His foundation is in the holy mountain. So he said the Most High foundation, meaning his beginning, is where? In the holy mountain. Read on. Yahweh loveth the gates of Zion. What the Most High love? He loveth the gates of Zion. Which is the land of Judah? Read. More than all the dwellings of Jacob. So you see that? It's 12 sons, but the Most High said, I love this one gate. Too bad. What you think are what you feel. Right? Read on. Glorious things are spoken of thee. O city of your house. So you see that? Glorious things spoken about that city, man. What was the glorious things? You remember when Queen of Sheba rolled up into Solomon's temple, man? He said the breath of our body, man, how black people was living there. So they used to go and they used to, Why do you think they, they, the scripture tells in Psalms 137, man? They say, raise it, raise it, meaning destroy it, destroy it. Because they said that city was the limelight of the planet Earth, man. People want to come to America now to see the Statue of Liberty. But then everybody want to enter the city of David, man. And guess what? They could not enter it. Because you will see the temple afar off. You, they're not going in there, man. Because you're going there, the most I catch a fire immediately, man. So they were jealous. They were envious of every time they get us to take our kingdom out. They do it, man. Now remember, the nation could not go in the temple of God. So they only hear us up there, but they don't know what's going on there. You get me? God. So it was glorious things, man. Read it from the top again, huh? Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of your house. Read? Really? In law. Anyone? Yeah, read on. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Mm -hmm. Behold, Philistia 
and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. So you see that they, they may compare now with other city that was around us, man. You understand me? They say Ethiopia, because remember, Ethiopia was Babylon too. They have good city. But there was none like Zion. He said, this man was born there, meaning what? Leaders was born there. Right? Other leaders. Right? Read on. And of Zion, it shall be said. Read. This and that man was born there. So you see them. that? This city where he said, this man. Name an Ethiopian for me. Salasi. Name a next one. Name a Philistine. Come on, you know a Philistine. Name one. Goliath. Name a next one. Name somebody from Tyre. I ain't know nobody from Tyre neither. <laughs> <laughs> so you see? Because you all read the Psalms and you look over it, right? When you read it, you look over it. The most I say, all these cities, if I said this man, singular, was born there. But read verse 4, verse 5. And of Zion it shall be said, this and that man was born in her. So you see that? From Zion, it might be pure lies. You have all these great men. Name some man that was born in Zion. David. No. Solomon. All our people born there, man. You can go as far as back to um, Abraham. Not, not Abraham, Isaac. Isaac born in Zion, man. Where do you think Jacob born? You understand me? And we can't come down the line. Where do you think King David born? Solomon. All the great kings of Israel. Where do you think a Mashiach born? So you see what, 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 what David said? Of these other great city, you're going to say, this man was born there. Name two Ethiopian men. <laughs> I know El Selassie. You know any Labran? Melanie. I said, man. Melanie. Melanie. Name the next one. He, was Melanie great? Melanie. He was, uh, he was, was he a great king? That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> because we can say in Philistine, you know, one person there, go like that, but David kill him. So great could you be when a 15 year will take you out? <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? So I know it was like about four melodic, but were they great? You understand me? Yeah, yeah. And I won't even say Selassie great neither. Because oh. when he hear the British was coming, when he hear um, Mussolini was coming, he took off. You understand me? So I don't know how great that was. But it said all these great people, they all these country have one great man. Who America have? Trump. Trump <laughs> has to be the greatest American of all men. Khan. We need to put Captain America and Trump. <laughs> <laughs> when we classify America, we must always big up Trump, man. You understand? Me? But is he great? No. He tried to make America great. America in recession, no. You understand me? Right? Read verse 5 again, Ishaya. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her. Read. And the highest himself shall establish her. Read. Yahweh shall count when he writes up the people that this man was born there. Selah. That's Yahweh shall read on. As well the singers, as the players on instruments shall be there. All my springs are in thee. So you see that? That's why scripture said, We the salt of the earth, man. You understand me? Um, this brother who died a couple weeks ago, what did he name? No, the entertainer who, got, who died. Little Richard. My name? Little Richard. Yeah, Little Richard. And um, I never know nothing about him, to be honest. And I think they know somebody named Little Richard. But I see they have this thing on 60 Minutes with him. Where they were showing you how racial they destroy him, man. And um, I, start, I went on YouTube and started looking up certain things with him. And he said, wear the makeup. Because he wear that because that's what they accepted. And he said he is the king of rock and roll. But he wow. said they're trying to make Elvis Presley be the king of rock and roll so much. That was him was the king of rock and roll. And listen, man. America have it to do, brother. If you think what happened in Saddam was bad, just wait till God finish with America. Man. So he said when he um, they want him to sing song, 
So he couldn't go out there and sing song to white children in Afro. You understand me? So you see, just like oh, the white man tell her to change her name and tell her what to do, mm -hmm. so they change his whole lifestyle. But the only bad thing about it is he fall for the trap. Cool. You understand me? But how are you going to condemn somebody like that when I wasn't around in the 60s to know what he was going through in Atlanta? I wasn't around in the 70s to see the racial tension in America. I, I read the biography of Benami, and Benami said when he said uh, Malcolm X and Luther King died, he, he said, listen man, if we don't leave, they're going to kill us too. I don't know the tension that was in Chicago in the 60s, so I'm going to condemn anybody who go through what they go through in their dispensation. You understand me? Because whenever you see certain black people do certain things, brothers, there's always a reaction. Man. C.R. Kelly, he's still in prison, man. We don't even have fear trial. Come. You understand me? While the police who killed George, he's, he's in bail. Mm -hmm. I, heard, yeah. I, heard, I heard three of them. Yeah. Three of them is out already. The three of them is out. Yeah, yeah. Three, it's four got arrested. Three out already. And even not the next thing. We never see nobody get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> you never see nobody walk in the police station with handcuffs, nothing. So don't say they get arrested. Yeah, come, you come. never see. Uh, you understand me? But that's all we going through in America, man. That's why it's a righteous thing to hate the white man. Yeah. I know people will say hate is a strong word, but righteous is a more strong. Put righteous with hate, man. For what this man be doing to us for the generation. You understand me? He destroy our food. He destroy families. He destroy everything we have, brothers. Oh, God. You understand me? Um, last scripture, Yeshua. Mm. Revelation 11, 17. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 17. Say, we give thanks. We give thee thanks, O Yahweh, Almighty, which art and was and art to come. Because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry. The nations were what? Were angry. So know the world mad. Why the world mad? Ice Cube come out and talk about the fake news and it's anti-Semitic. Listen, there's no word named anti-Semitic neither. Shemitic. Shemitic. Because we Shemitic or we Semitic, whatever they call it. Yeah. When the white people say they're Jews, that's anti-Semitic. Who was the first son of Shem? What was Shem's first son? Elam. And they accuse Iran of being what? And Iran is Shem's first what? So you see, we don't get Iran's point of view to when Iran correcting them because they're not going to let us hear it. But Iran looking on white people like they're fools, man. And then they look at us under this white man and like we fooler than the white man. How are you accusing Shem for a son of anti Semitic? <laughs> <laughs> you, you try to say so if, if Iran is anti Semitic, who are you the Iranians? Can the entire world know when Persia changed to Iran? You understand me? But as I said, brother, this white man going to feel it. And God said, give him double, full that cup. They have not stuck to hold that cup up to pull it. Right? Read from the top again, Shire. Starting with 17 and 18. 17 is that from None. Uh, Revelation 11 and 17. Saying, We give thee thanks, O Yahweh Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets. So you see that? So you say, when Yahweh shall come back, he went and give reward to his servants the prophet. Mm -hmm. You know what a prophet do. Prophet prophesied. Man. Prophet tell you the glory of the Mosai. The prophet tell you the destruction of these nations. Man. So the service, Mosai coming back to give reward to those men. man. So when you put a garment on and go on the street and teach out there, man, we cannot pay you for it. We'll never pay you for it. 
and you don't might get a spot on your shoulder every time to do what you're supposed to do. Sorry. You might not get a high five to do what you're supposed to do. Your job, it's a duty. So we ain't gonna give no trophy or um, his employer the year or no certificate for what you're supposed to do. That's your duty. So I know some of you want the same church mentality. Because T.D. Jakes, we have Tyler Perry come at the church mm -hmm. and they'll, no! So some of you expect high five for what you're supposed to do. Throughout the Stuart class, you might get rough up. Take it cheerfully. And when you finish, you go out there and you teach on the road. If a person wants you to read four hours, read four hours. Teach for hours, teach. Then we ain't gonna come and shake you and give you a high five for something that you're supposed to do, something for your, what you're created to do. How much hours you work for the white man? <laughs> <laughs> How much? Forty. You give a man forty hours at the best time of the day. <laughs> uh. Brother, after you finish work five o'clock, it works in November. As soon as you finish work night come now. Yeah. What time you have for yourself? Yeah. No. You go to your bed, you're hurrying to sleep to wake up to give him more time. Yeah, to you understand me? But he gave you a reward for that. You shy will be employed the month. You understand me? But when you add up all that 40 hours a week for the month, that's what, 4, 4, 16? You give him all that. You understand me? He can do that. But we're not going to do that if we say, go there and teach us six hours. It's a duty to come to the school. We're not going to give you no I-5 up for you to do what you're supposed to do. When Yahushai come, he said what? He's going to give his servants reward. He will pay you. You understand me? Look men in the back there. Him from the 80s in the children. The 80s. You understand me? Hash? What? Either the 80s or the 70s? One of them. But they're still here. Guess what? Before some of you... Right? Can't? Can't. And all the elders in Osa David work, right? We agree with that, right? Can't. Some of us might be in a little recession, pandemic now, but we do know all of them work, right, Labrand? I forgot <laughs> you up there in age two. No, my name's Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Elder Judah, you've been around a while too, right? You're still working, right? <laughs> you understand me? All of the elders in the school work. You understand me? But they're here before some of you younger men. How uh, we, we work that out now? No, tell me how we can work that out. Because if my thought was step on your toe, no, it's, oh, it's so rough. It's this, it's that. But how we work that out? You have elders what's here from the 80s, man. Early 90s. They're reaching here before some of you younger men. And you're just thinking when you're just walking and nobody say nothing to you. I, with what spirit up on some of you? What spirit up on some of you? It's not going to work like that, brothers. Can? Can. Can. Read, my brother. <clears throat> and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, mm -hmm. small and great. What? Small and great. So you might have young man, you might have great man. Young man in statue, Great man in statue. The most I go and give the reward. Right? Read. And should have destroyed them, which destroyed the earth. So they said the most I go and destroy them will destroy the earth. So the white man dig his own pit. He dig a hole that's easy, only one way falling. You understand me? And as our um, Labrador normally quote, Romans 13 11, that knowing the time it is high time, brothers. Because what? Salvation is closer to, than, to you than you believe. Because you will be looking in the Bible and some of these prophecy, but it might pass you, man. You understand me? Because when I go back through Joel, the third chapter, the most I said, will you render me a recompense? What is recompense? Amen. And they're discussing now to give you reparation. Can? Can. Did, are, are they not doing that? Can. So they know, the most I said, when you recompense me, what am I going to do? 
No, but all the most I say was going to bring it back. Go ahead. How? What? Swift. Get it and read it, and they get it, Ishai. Gerald 3 2. Most I say I'm going to return it back swiftly and speedily. When I read that, I remember the most I tell Ezra man said, Wait the fire, man. Tell me how much the fire weighs. Okay, if the most I coming at, at you swiftly, brother. You, you cannot, you think you send bottles fast, right? <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine the ancient of days say, I'm coming back at you swiftly and speedily. Read on. <clears throat> Joel chapter 3 and verse 4. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? So the most I ask the question, are you going to pay me back? They decide to give you $350,000, huh? As I said, the $350,000 divided by four hundred is $875 a month, a year. So they want to pay you $800 a year for 400 years that we are in America, man. So that's why most I ask, will you pay me back? But Allah, we said that money is small, right? There's no money is enough to pay us back for what our parents told you. Because even with this deal, I have to give up the entire earth and go back up into Petra and Basra. A lot of brothers get it confused. The white man never came out of the Carcass Mountain. He conquered it. When Job mentioned about it in the cliffs of the rock, that was in Petra, man. Because that was the same land Cain get to. Read it back in Genesis. He said, Cain went where? East of Eden. Where's Basra? East of Zion. So the same land that Cain took, that was the same land Esau get. So even that will show you who the white man is, sons of Satan. Right? Read on. Will ye render me a recompense? And if he recompense me swiftly and what? speedily, swiftly oh, and speedily, Joe, Joe. will I return your recompense upon see. your own head? So you see that? So the most I said, whenever you decide to pay me back, it might happen swiftly and speedily. See that? Can't, can't. Most I never say I'm going to take my time. He said it will happen swiftly. So just pray Trump do it before election November. Mm -hmm. By Christmas we might be out of here. That's when the Haitians start the revolution, right? Christmas Eve night, right? Mm -hmm. So by Christmas we just gave the white man a, um, a white Christmas. <laughs> Always like a show they talk about it, right? They want a white Christmas. They want a Christmas with snow. But it might just be a Christmas with bloodshed, man. <laughs> so just make it come quickly. I see this morning they said Trump stop the homosexual from being tranny. Because he cut that whole thing because the free health care that Obama gave is where we working class people pay insurance for a tranny who can yeah, change their right. sex life. Okay. I, I wonder why Trump stop it. I'm disappointed. Let the people be at the gay they can be, man. <laughs> why you stop it? <laughs> He's just trying like the white man of class now. But Trump have a dirty closet. He's a pedophile. Yeah, yeah. 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 Trump is a pedophile. Huh? So just live as much as a pedophile life you can live and just make the tranny them do what make them be the best gay in America they can be. Because brother, when this thing speed up like that judgment coming near. I want to see this kingdom before I go, brothers and too, sisters. Bro. Come on. I want to speak it, and I want to be young too. Because, right, Judah? <laughs> now the scripture says we shall dance in the blood of what? Oh, Our enemies. You understand me? So I want to have the privilege to be able to do that. If I have to push my brother Judah in a wheelchair through the blood, I'll help him. <laughs> you understand me? So I'm wondering what you are doing. Let the people and be gay, man. Give them the free health care. Obama set it up nice for them. You understand me? But as we have to stand, we have to say, the most I say, my return this judgment swiftly and speedily. So with that, I say, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat oh. Shalom. You have something, Shai? You're, you're looking for scripture? Uh, no. <laughs> Confirm what I got. Okay. So, all right, brothers, any questions? Sisters, any questions?